Imagine someone had tied a kettlebell to your belt. You've got a heavy kettlebell, and when you move, it's like it drags you down to the floor. All these exercises where we do those is to get that dropping feeling. You try and picture this. Uh, it's often a bit confusing when we're not hitting things, is that the end of the punch and when it hits its target is here, but it isn't here. Because now I don't have any body weight moving forward. So the end of the punch, and I don't know if I can do it, is, is something like my arm's bent, my foot is still moving forward, my arm penetrates through, and then my foot lands. So rather than stop punch, we do that for beginners often, but rather than stop punch, we all do that. And even same time, maybe not oh, hand and foot. It's almost like the, uh, what's pulling you forward is a little, uh, you know, a little jetpack on your wrist or something. It's like that. Oh, so your, your wrist, your hand is moving first, <clears throat> then your body immediately follows. In Western boxing, this is called a drop step. It was made famous by a guy called Jack Dempsey, who was a quite famous heavyweight. In uh, karate, I was actually trying to research the name for this. Um, I haven't found an official name, but I have found a couple of terms that we could use instead. I hold a piece of paper in this hand. I'm going to try hit it with the same hand. So from there, I'm just trying to hit it. I let go and I'll pull it back a little bit and then hit. Just try that a few times. I'm holding the paper. I drop it and I'm going to move forward. I'm going to move forward. And this is exactly, should help you exactly with the timing of the drop step. Because it's, because it's impossible to step. I will miss it. So for me, I let go, and my hand has hit the paper and just momentarily before my foot has hit the floor. So try that. I just want to. I just want to point something out. If I do something like this, if I think about my back leg and my back staying straight, this is going to happen. It's going to be a push through, and my level doesn't change. But if I think about only worry about my front foot, my front foot, boom, my front foot, boom, like that, because heavy down just after I, or just as I'm hitting and just slightly after I hit. If I just lift up my front foot, my weight is going to go forward. That's the feeling we want. Adding, adding the weight of your body to the momentum of the punch.